Hey everyone, it's Kevin the Mac Expert here with a video for you of the best iPhone and iPod Touch Utilities, Volume 2. So the first video showed off AppBox, Speed Test, and MyLight. These are some very useful and handy applications, so I thought that I'd make another video showing you some additional helpful utilities. The first one, I'd like to start off with Battery Magic. We'll open up Battery Magic, and there's a free version and a 99 cent paid version. And the great thing about this utility is that it tells you in percentage-wise, in 5% increments, how much battery life you have left, and then it tells you how much time you have left. So depending upon what you're going to do, 3D gameplay, gameplay, and uh, Wi-Fi, video playback, and audio playback, these are all very helpful numbers to know. So if you're on a long road trip uh, and you see that you only have a couple, if you see that you only have about half battery life, you want to be able to know how much gameplay you have left or how much Wi-Fi browsing on the internet that you have or how much uh, audio that you could play back. So this is helpful to know if you're on the road. If not, I would just plug it in. But it's also helpful because it gives you in 5% increments as opposed to just a visual guesstimate visual estimate of the battery life. So there's the first one, just a quick app. The next one that I'd like to show you is called Graphing Calculator. So we'll go ahead and open it up. Graphing Calculator is a paid application and it costs 99 cents in the App Store. The reason I love this app, it has many, many of the features that a Graphing Calculator would have here on your iPhone or iPod Touch in an app that costs only 99 cents. So here you have a basic calculator on this tab down at the bottom. Let me bring it a little closer so you can see. You have calculator, equations, graph, table, and more. So we'll go to equations, and here you can create an equation. So tap on it, hit edit, and we're going to do, oh, we already have an application, x squared plus 4x. So hit save, and then you can hit graph, and right here you can pinch and zoom, pretty intuitive, and pinch and zoom and you have a graph and you have all the variables and you can do up to four different charts, up to four different graphs right here, graph four different equations. And then it shows you a table. So this is very helpful for doing a basic graph if you're doing homework or you're doing uh, applications and you just want to do a basic visual check this is something that is very helpful and very easy to do. And you can zoom in, and you can see you have it in different increments, and you can zoom in and out. And you have a table, and then under more, you have settings, and you can how to use this app, which is actually very useful. Uh, it shows you exactly how to use this application. So again, graphing calculator. That's called graphing calculator. It's available for 99 cents in the App Store. So here's the last utility that I'd like to show you in this video, Volume 2. So we'll go ahead, it's called Dictionary. And go a little closer, Dictionary. We'll open it up. And it's very simple. It's a dictionary. You type, uh, type a word. We'll search for C. And then you have the definition and it will show you the part of speech that it is. It is a free application, so it has small apps right here, or small ads. But the great thing about this application is that you do not need to be on a Wi-Fi connection to access this. Some applications require an internet connection, but this has it all stored locally, so if you're on the road and you don't have a Wi-Fi connection, or you're unable to get a 3G connection, then you can just look up the words right here. Very helpful and very useful a simple application. And there we go. So thanks so much, guys. If you enjoy these videos, please subscribe, uh, leave a comment, and uh, any video suggestions, I'll be happy to uh, make note of them. So hope you enjoyed this video, and check out my other videos at youtube.com slash the Mac Expert. See you next time. Bye-bye.